brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Senator St. Augustine's budget is essentially just $2 million more than the current year, as it includes a provision to set aside $13 million to pay down the deficit, which the current budget doesn't contain. He says they also tried to remove vacant positions to further trim the padding from agency budgets. One of the big changes, though, comes with the government's biggest department, education. The bill appropriates $30 million for the central office and $199 million for operating the schools. But in a departure from past budget, it specifies the individual appropriations for each of the 41 schools based on per pupil cost. When I was on the Board of Education, that's something that I was pushing for. Let's get the funding to the schools. And you have to understand, when you say the superintendent, he's still, he's still the man, he's still the guy in charge of all the schools. If they're not running the school and hiring the right people, he needs to speak up. He can't allow the principal to hire anybody out there. He, the, you know, there's a checklist. San Augustine disagrees that it waters down the authority of the superintendent and the board. He says John Fernandez will still have purview over spending that's above and beyond the school's allocation. Meanwhile, San Augustine says his budget anticipates supplemental appropriations if the government ends the year with a surplus. If there is extra money, he intends to prioritize the other needs of the big three of education, health and public safety. San Augustine hopes to have the bill ready for the August session where it's expected to be the lone item on the agenda. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.